This is Top Contender Boxing. We keep it real, 100 and unbiased. Today's topic is Esqueva Facal, a top ranked fighter from Brazil, a silver medalist. We're gonna break him down because he's in line. He should be in line for the Triple G fight. We're gonna break down his fights and his stats, but before we break down his fights, let's break down his stats. He's 32 years old, he's 5'10, 29 wins, 20 KOs, zero losses. He's a middleweight. His only loss was against Royota Morata in the 2012 Olympics for the gold. So that's why he won the silver. His father was a former boxer from Brazil. His brother is a boxer. But um, let's get down to his fights. What do you think about Santos? The Santos fight? Well, there's really not much to say about it. You know, that was a first round knockout. You know, yeah. it's just, you know, Falcao went in there and did what he had to do, you know, for throwing knockout. <laughs> What's your take on it? You know, it was cool that he got to fight in his own country, in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And it was his countryman. He fought his own countryman. And, uh, you know, like to say, there wasn't much to say about that one. His so, own paisano. <laughs> his own paisano. He got, he got him out of there and <laughs> said, I'm the better man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what do you think about his uh, his fight against Arthur the Russian? That was a real, real good, you know, fight, of course. The Russian was doing, you know, pretty good fighting off his back foot. You know, Falcao just, you know, he's pushing him forward, going in there nicely, you know, jabbing him, hitting him, doing a real good, you know, he was just a, a better dude that day, you know, that night. You know, in uh, fourth round, <laughs> what do you think about it? My, 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 whole, my whole breakdown of that fight, Falcao, he's got a patience to him. He's got a patience to him. He's a patient stalker. He is a fast stalker, but he's a patient one. He likes to, you know, pick his punches. He's a selectful puncher. And, uh, you know, his defense, his defense was his head movement coming in. See, that's the beauty. He, he likes to come forward with nice head movement. So he's going to smother you and make you miss. And in that fight, he, I think he was too much for the Russian. That's why the Russian was fighting off the back foot. You normally see that Russian come forward. Yeah. But in that fight, he was going off the back foot. Of course. And, uh, you know, I, well, I thought the fight was going to continue to go after the fourth, but uh, the Russian said no more. And it was a slight it was a slight confusion when you saw him break his nose. I mean, you really couldn't see it in the fight, but it was it was slight. That's how patient and yeah. how nice his punches are. Right. So he broke his nose in the fourth and ended it there. What do you think about uh, Patrice, the Canadian? Okay, that fight, you know, it... I personally thought it was kind of even, but Pacquiao, Pacquiao, he uh, 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 he did more, you know, he, he did more damage. He did more hooks, more more jabs, of course. But the other dude, you know, he, he just, you know. Patrice? Yes, Patrice. He just couldn't, you know, he just wasn't strong that night, you know. Yeah. But if it would have been, I think, a little bit stronger, I think that fight would have been a, a draw to, you know. <laughs> So you see what happened, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, but uh, I personally think that if that wouldn't have happened, I think if I could have, yeah, that more. fight would have gone to, to you know, decision, you know, okay. no, no, you know, no doubt about it. What's your take on that? My take on that fight, um, fuck out, you know, normally he's patient in the beginning, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a patient aggressor, and that one he looked like he was trying to uh, step up the tempo, he was pushing the fight a lot more, he looked more physically strong in that fight, yeah. In my eyes, his jab looked powerful in that fight. That's why Patrice was uh, going a lot on the back on the back foot towards the ropes a lot. And Facal, man, he uh, he has a nice punch uh, punch punch selection. And uh, you know, it's sad that uh, in the sixth round he had that gash to the face. But you know, overall he was winning the rounds. So to that gash, it didn't really matter because he was up in rounds. And it could have been, yeah, I think it would have gone to decision. He, I think he would have won on points either way. But uh, he, but uh, you know, Facal was looking pretty good in that fight. What do you think? Um, who do you think he should fight next? If uh, well, if Triple G don't fight Canelo, Triple G. Okay, okay, but if Canelo, uh, if, Can uh, if Canelo does fight Triple G. Well, you know we do have Boo Boo, Charlo, Munguia, Munguia, John Abeg, John Abeg, the you know the bully. Yeah, yeah. You know we know. well we can't say Rosado no more. <laughs> oh, Sugar Shane Mosley Jr. There you He's go. The there now. you go. He's there the you mix. go. Yeah, yeah. Those, I mean, those are the ones that I think for 160 that would be that you know will be a very very good fight for him. You know, I think he's ready for one of those. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in my eyes, if uh, if Triple G, in my eyes, if Triple G doesn't get a the Canelo fight, he should be the first contender to fight Triple G because 
Royota Morata just fought Triple G, and he was the one who beat Falcao in the Olympics. In the yes. And you're gonna remember, Morata is 36 years old, and Falcao is 32. 32. So it'd be nice for GG to get a nice young bull at 32. You know, even though Falcao lost the silver, I mean, lost the gold, he fuck his record. What what his record is? Uh, 29 wins, 20 KOs. That's better than Murata. He's he seems like a more sharper, sh- more sharper, more tuned fighter. And more patient. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Triple G's got the power, maybe to surprise us still. But fuck out. Looks like he has the high motor and will still bring it to you. And um, yeah, if he doesn't get the Triple G, I would love to see him with the Mungia. I'd love to see him with Andre. If if Andre wants to fight him, because yeah, I think that'll be better if Andre, you know, to you know, for for Google to get that fight. I think that you know that'll be a a real good fight right there yeah for him you know so we'll see what top rank has for him but as soon as we get any information towards this fight we'll let you guys know please like and subscribe thank, thank you. you very much